Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba and welcome to January 2020. So when we get a new year, we also get some new dive gear and uh, I'm gonna show you a few bits and bobs that have arrived for January 2020. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so first up, plenty of this is actually Scuba Pro because they're just sort of releasing stuff on almost a monthly basis at the moment. Uh, so I'm gonna start off with their wrist size dive computer, the A1. Now admittedly, I haven't had a great deal of interaction with this, um, so I can't tell you what's going on on the inside but it's a well-built, uh, sort of very lightweight dive computer. You've got a metal bezel, which makes it nice and strong. Four-button user interface makes it really easy to use. Bluetooth as well just means that you can sort of wirelessly control and uh, sort of download dives and uh, sort of connect it to an app. So this is really the way that dive computers seem to be going this age, um, where you can sort of connect it to an app so that way you don't need uh, sort of download cables and all that. Um, but otherwise, a nice, decent sized, uh, sort of wrist sized dive computer so you can wear that day to day um, as well as on the dive site. Staying with Scuba Pro, uh, we have their new sort of version of the D420. Uh, so their D range of regulators has always looked a little bit weird, but it kind of grows on you. And technically very, very nice second stage. So because the diaphragm is slightly lowered down, that slight dip in pressure, um, so when it's slightly lower down um, than your actual mouth, it actually improves the breathing quality. So when you, um, when you actually dive this, it feels very effortless. Um, the actual uh, sort of cracking efforts when you actually inhale it's basically how hard you have to inhale to actually get that valve to open it's very very low so it's very natural breathe ambidextrous as well and um, it's got a kind of funky sort of retro vibe going on um, yeah I definitely like it and it's attached onto the mark 25 Evo first stage so a five port swivel turret um, very high performance first stage so a lovely set of regulators Moving on to fourth element, um, they brought out new um, sort of range of rash vests. So this is their Hydro T and uh, the most important thing about this is that it's got this UPF 50 plus rating. So these are loose fit rash vests. So if you don't like it being too clingy onto you, it's a bit more comfortable. Soft material as well. So you can wear this just uh, sort of in the tropics if you don't need a wetsuit. Um, very soft against your skin, but means that you don't need to wear sunscreen, which is damaging our reefs. So this is sort of, it just protects you from sunburn as well as a lot of sort of rashes and uh, quite a few sort of bumps and scrapes and stings as well. Um, long sleeve and short sleeve, two different colors, uh, all sorts of different sizes and um, yeah they're just a nice sort of subtle uh, modest design and um, yeah I quite like those. And then going back to, uh, to Scuba Pro, two new BCDs. Um, so the first one is the, uh, the T1. So this is their pretty much entry level BCD. This is a replacement of the X1, um, similar name, sort of heritage. And, uh, and yeah, it's just a simple jacket style BCD. You do have Velcro pockets on the side, um, plenty of D-rings to attach sort of anything that you want. Uh, a simple inflator that's really easy to uh, sort of get used to. You've got a pull dump, you've got kind of everything that you need. Um, and it's in a really sort of budget conscious uh, sort of BCD. So that's definitely one worth uh, looking into. But if you do want a sort of integrated weight system, then they have the level. So the level is basically the successor to the equator. Um, it's very similar, just slightly different um, sort of color, uh, color ways instead of being reds, now it's blues. Uh, but again, you've got a slightly nicer inflator. This is their uh, sort of balanced power inflator. So you've got a uh, hinged inflation button on that. You've got integrated weights as well with pinch clips. So these are really uh, sort of secure, but they're quick release as well. Um, plenty of pocket space jacket style as well. So if you stick to the uh, BCD that you kind of learned to dive with, uh, then this is pretty much the way to go. It's kind of that hybrid between a, a travel BCD, but it's still kind of tough at the same time. As far as weight, it's a pretty lightweight BCD for a, uh, for a jacket, um, but it's made out of slightly tougher material. So you can dive it at home, but you can also uh, sort of travel with it as well. Okay, so there are a few bits and bobs that have arrived for January 2020 for your scuba diving career. Um, but of course, let us know your favorite down below in the comments below and what you've bought recently or what did you get for Christmas? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and of course, safe diving. So we're taking a closer look at our best-selling dive computers. So in this video, we're gonna be looking at five of our best-selling dive computers right now. Let's take a closer look. Rolling in at number five, we have the Sunto Viper Novo. So this is a large screen dive computer. We've got dot matrix in the center, which means that it can convey a bit more comp 